Time for another five minute ish review. One thing often leads to another, and that is exactly how I came to watch 2019's The Tangle. Written, directed, and starring Christopher Soren Kelly. If you listened to my last review, that name will sound very familiar. He starred in 2016's Infinity Chamber, as well as 2009's Inc. Since I enjoy the man as an actor as much as I do, when I discovered he wrote and directed a film, I had to check it out. Co-starring alongside Kelly is Joshua Byton, Jessica Graham, and Nicole De Silva. It is the near future, and the tangle has surpassed the internet and connects the world using nanotechnology. The world is a virtual paradise. Violent crime is a thing of the past. The tangle's safety protocols not only protects you from hurting others, it can prevent you from hurting yourself. No secrets, no crime, no fear. There is a small group of government agents assigned to be the watchers of the watcher, many of whom live their lives unconnected to the tangle using specially shielded safe houses devoid of anything post the triple W, as they call the World Wide Web, and ghost suits which allow them to move about in the real world without being infected with the tangle's nanobots. They act as a safeguard should anything go wrong with the tangle. They have the power to shut it down, knowing that if they do, they'll be crashing the entire world. When an agent working from inside the tangle is discovered dead in a safe house, locked from the inside, it seems as though the impossible has happened. Was it murder? And if so, how? And who could have circumvented the tangle? Everything points to one person, but while questioning him, two agents discover that the truth may be more harrowing than they could have imagined. Could the tangle itself be to blame? When trying to come up with a quick description to this film, I came up with a noir murder mystery told with technological poetry. Trying to accurately explain what I mean by that is perhaps a little difficult. The noir murder mystery is easy enough, but the technological poetry, that's another story. The dialogue used in the film is different. Odd phrases and terms that appear to me to be sort of a futuristic version of the 1930s or 1940s speak. Some less futuristic, you're a whole onion smarter than me, for example, while others couldn't have existed until this film's version of the 21st century. The triple W, ghost suits, and the idea that the most intimate you can get with someone is by letting them past your firewall. This is not a film for everyone. Many will not enjoy the long scenes of this neo-noir dialogue and the lack of action. It is yet another film that almost entirely takes place on one set, so don't expect running shootouts and car chases. For me, there is something I enjoy about a filmmaker that takes an idea to the nth degree. They know it won't be for everyone, but for the right people, it will be incredible. The general idea behind the plot, the idea that the Internet of Things becomes an Internet of Minds, isn't so far-fetched. Every day we connect more and more to our world, our digital assistants can help us control the temperature of the house, start the coffee maker or the oven, and in the not-too-distant future, drive us to our destinations. They were just on our computers, but now are in our phones, and we wear them on our wrists. Is it so far-fetched that there could come a time that we don't welcome them into our heads? Kelly plays Edward, an agent with a special tie to the murdered woman, Margot, and he is determined to prove that former programmer and co-creator of The Tangle, Carter, goes down for the crime. Edward's partner and wife, Laurel, is at first as positive as Edward that Carter is the only one that could have figured a way to do it. But doubts begin to surface as truths come to light that affect them all. There's not much more to say that won't give away too much of the plot. Like any good mystery, you don't want spoilers. So I'll end it with a request that you give this film a chance. Stay focused, don't get distracted. With some bit of irony, I suppose, I'm asking you to put down all your connected devices so you can watch untethered by technology. No notifications, no calls, and no triple W.